and welcome back to another lippy review. So today we're doing one from In Beauty Project and this is the second one I've owned of this because the first one that I got from Ipsy came looking super iffy to the point where I was like, I don't feel comfy using that. So I went to the company directly and I rebought it and it looks fine. So this is in Glaze Number no. 1 Lip Oil Candy Apple for soft, plump, and supple lips. It plumps, hydrates, and smooths. A naturally colored and flavored lip oil that envelopes lips in plumping hydration. Juicy candy apple flavor sweetened with stevia. Made with our unique combo of red root oil, pomegranate, apple, and a plant-based plumping complex. In beauty we trust. Free from mineral oil, synthetic fra uh, fragrance, silicones, PEGs, sulfates, parabens, phthalates, soy, gluten, artificial colorant, or any animal-derived products. Clean beauty never felt so in. It's cruelty-free and vegan. Let's see here. Certified plastic negative product. Uh, these are made in Korea and distributed in Florida. And the ingredients are... Oh, this is hard to read. Saccharomyces slash lithos. Spermum erythrozone root oil ferment filtrate, polyglycerol to isosterate slash dimer, dilinoleate copolymer, hydrogenated polyisobutane, jojoba seed oil, polyglycerol to triosterate, silica dimethyl silylate, um, lithospermum erythrohyzone root extract natural flavor by palmitoyl hydro hydroxyproline pomegranate seed oil apple fruit extract water steviaside dehydroacetic acid and 12 hexanediol so lots of ingredients there i have never heard of in my life but it apparently counts as clean beauty so all right whatever i'll do my research on them later oh so you open it up, there's a cute little picture graphic inside there. That's okay. So the packaging. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Packaging looks like this, almost like police tape or something. Um, as of current day, they make six different glazes. I have five of the six because I bought a set of them. But they only had five in the set. So the only one I'm missing, I think, is like the fruity cereal milk one or whatever it's called. But I have the others. So anyway, format-wise, it is a lip oil, as we can see. It's very red. Um, and I showed you the packaging. Sounds like acrylic to me. It just says glaze number one lip oil on the bottom. So unless you remember what each one is, I do oh wait, never mind. It says candy apple on it. Because I was like, if it doesn't say the flavor name, uh, how are you gonna tell them apart? But I guess that's how it's so. all right. Uh size-wise, this contains 0 0.20 fluid ounces, so a hair less than a quarter of an ounce. But that's still a good amount, honestly. Um, I read you the ingredients. You can buy these individually for $15, or you can buy it as part of that set for, I forget what I paid for it, but it was much more cost-effective to buy that way, let me tell you. And it comes with a cute little bag when you do it that way. Um, this one's not limited edition. This one, I think, is like their OG one. It's not medicated, no SPF. Um, let's see here. The applicator type. It's not exactly a doe foot applicator. It's kind of a curved, very rounded, like, what would you even... It's almost like a scoop. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's the applicator type. Ooh! Oh, that smells good! Oh my god. That is very perfectly candy apple. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch a little on the back of my hand. It's not crazy tinted, it's just a little bit. But I'm still excited. Let's see how it goes on and how it tastes and stuff, if it has a taste. Oh, 
Okay, it looks more tinted when it's on the lips. I wonder if maybe I was supposed to put that side down. I don't know. Okay. Ooh, it does have flavor. Ooh. And it does taste like apple. All right. I'm here for it. So it's just the tiniest little wash of color. It's nothing crazy like this would make you think. This would make you think it's like bright effing red. It's not. Just a little healthy flush of color there. And while it felt sticky going on, now that it's on, it doesn't really feel sticky. So that's very interesting to me. I love that hyper shiny look. Like that super wet, super shiny look. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. So. Okay. It's actually pretty thick. It's only got the tiniest hint of stickiness now that it's on, but it feels really, really nice. And I imagine, um, given their plumping complex, it doesn't have any, like, tingling or burning or irritated type feeling going on like a lot of lip plumpers do. So I imagine it's probably something more along the lines of, like, um, why can I not think of it? Please hold. Hyaluronic acid. That's the word I couldn't think of. No, I didn't look it up. It just took me like two minutes to come up with it on my own. But hyaluronic acid, which if that's the case, it'll give a plumping effect, but it won't be quite immediate. But I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to tell. Does it look like they've been plumped at all since I put it on? I don't think so. But like maybe with extended usage or as it stays on, maybe. Maybe. Like, I don't think it'll be anything dramatic, but most of them aren't, let's be real. But it does feel uber hydrating, which I would expect from a lip oil. They're supposed to be, so always nice. Um, let's do the kiss test, see how bad it transfers. Actually, while it does transfer, it doesn't transfer the color, really, which is super interesting to me. Okay, let's do the drink test, see how it does. Because this may be where it fails. Hmm. Okay. I was not entirely wrong. It's not 100% gone, but... That thinned out quite a bit. But again, interestingly, no color transfer on the mug. What kind of voodoo is it doing? I don't know. This is very interesting to me, but even so, even failing that, I still like it. I like this a lot, actually. <laughs> uh, do I think it's a little steeply priced for what it is? Yeah, not gonna lie. So, I mean, there is that, but um, I'm counting half a point against it for the drink test, half a point for the transferring because it's not colored, but I mean, it does transfer. You can see the shiny spot, but... We knew it was going to do that, so that's just one point across the two, plus the price point being awfully high for what it is, but that still, that still leaves us with an 8 out of 10, which is really nice, and I do like this a lot, and think that if you can get past the price point, or if you buy, like, the set to help bring down the cost per product, I, I think this one's definitely worth a shot to try out, because I like this. I like this a lot, so... Yeah, I say it's worth the purchase, if you ask me. Anyways, don't get it through Ipsy, though, because theirs, I think, are spoiled, because it looked like there was, like, blobs of dark shit in the bottom of theirs. And, yeah, there's not supposed to be. If yours looks like that, send that shit back. But if you buy from the company directly, you'll get fresh products. So, anyways, <laughs> now that that tangent is done and over with, that is it for this one. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more, it's all down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.